Oh, this is about to get weird. So the other day I watched a horror film. I mean, nothing weird there. Lots of people watch horror films. And after I watched that horror film, I thought, you know what? I like that. I want to watch some more horror film. I mean, there's nothing weird about that either. But instead of just going onto the internet and finding some more horror films, I decided to go onto Wikipedia and look at the plotline for just about every acclaimed horror film in the history of the world. All right, now this is my train of thought and searching. Please try to keep up. This is where it gets weird. So I'm looking at the horror films on Wikipedia and I suddenly notice that lots of horror films are in fact based on real life serial killers, which is fine. I guess that's a scary topic. Now the average person would probably go, great, that sounds like an interesting movie. Unless you me, in which case I thought, wow, that sounds like an interesting serial killer. Let me read the Wikipedia page for them. I am yet to see the light at the end of this research based tunnel. So somehow I went from watching one horror movie to three documentaries on two different serial killers. As it turns out, a lot of these serial killers also kidnap young women. So that made me feel really safe. My little research bender resulted in me lying in my bed, being afraid to sleep. For the fear that a serial killer will break in through my window and murder me. I understand that this is highly unlikely, but who knows anything could happen. And you know, one would think, well, yeah, that's the end of the story. Wrong. Why does it never just end there? It never just ends simply. I always knew that Tumblr is weird. Tumblr is a weird place full of even weirder people. To this day I've come across some incredibly fascinating yet slightly disturbing stuff on there. But this pretty much exceeded every level of weird I have ever encountered on that website to this day. On Tumblr there is a fandom for serial killers. They have their favorite murderers as their icons. Some of them even have Christmas hats because it's December and we're all about the Christmas thing this time of year. And they're like reblogging pictures of their favorite serial killers and their crime scenes. I saw one girl say she thinks it would have been an honor to have been murdered by her favorite serial killer. I saw another say they think it would have been fantastic to murder someone with their favorite serial killer. Now I don't know about you, but I have never been more terrified of this website than I am right now. I have even seen people say that they have excused their favorite serial killer of their crimes because wait for it, because they're attractive. Now I get it, I do. I see why people might think that Ted Bundy is an attractive man, but that doesn't mean he didn't kill loads of people. I did not even think this was possible, that people would justify this sort of thing in their minds, but apparently they do. Don't really know where I'm going with this other than to say that I'm still pretty terrified. But I guess at the end of the day, next time you get told off for only liking One Direction because they're attractive, at least you have the inner satisfaction of knowing that Harry Styles is probably not a serial killer. This has gotten very weird very quickly. Take my advice, don't go researching serial killers if you don't think you can stomach it. Because I thought I could, and turns out I couldn't, and now I'm probably scarred for the rest of my life. If you're not too freaked out by this subject matter, give the video a thumbs up. Or even favorite it if you're that way inclined. After having told you that I spent my week researching serial killers, I don't really know how many of you would want to subscribe to me or would even want to stay subscribed to me. But again, if you feel like it, go right ahead and hit the button. Alrighty guys, have a lovely week or period of time between this and the next video and I will see you at a later date which could be soon or could be in a few weeks time. I don't know, we're just rolling with it. Stay safe and stay away from serial killers and I will see you later. Bye!